Hi there, and welcome back to Simon, a bloke in the woods. It's just a very short video. I'm about to go on a, um, uh, a two-day canoe trip this weekend, and I just wanted to show you how I'm gonna set my tarp up to make a tent, uh, but specific to canoeing. There's a lot of variations on this uh, tent, this tarp tent I'm about to show you, but, um, but the way I set it up, it's, it's, um, it's specific to canoeing in that it uses, instead of a pole in the middle, it uses paddles as a pole, and it's just slightly differently set up. Okay, so so far it's very similar to, uh, to most normal setups. Now normally you'd use a walking pole at this point, and you would put the walking pole inside, holding the tent up at the first ridge attachment from the end. Okay, so the second loop along the ridge line, um, and it would hold it up here. Unfortunately, that's too short for me to use a paddle, a canoe paddle, which is what I want to be using. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my paddles and my peg bag, together to form an A-frame. Okay, so the peg bag holds the panels together. You can cinch that up like this and that should hold it together and enable me to hold the tent up and adjust it. And there we go. We have one pole coming up here, up to the apex, held in place with the peg bag, and down the other side. The effect is that you don't have a center pole, you have loads more room in there, and you don't have to take a pole with you. You can just utilize what you've already got on a canoe trip anyway, which is your paddles. The other difference, is that at the back of the tent, I just have one peg out point here. As for a sleeping mat, I'm not gonna take a dedicated sleeping mat with me either. I'm just gonna take this black thick mat there, which is an inch thick, and that's normally my kneeling mat that I have in the canoe, because I kneel in the canoe rather than sit. So that's what I put down and that sort of molds to the shape of the bottom of the canoe and I kneel on that to protect my knees. So I have that with me anyway. That'll become what I sleep on, and it's much thicker than a normal roll mat, being an inch thick. So that covers my torso, and then my feet, or the bottom parts of my legs, will be on my kneel pad, which I always have on the bottom of my rucksack anyway. So I've got the canoe paddles, which is saving me taking a pole. I've got my kneel pad for the canoe, and my kneel pad that goes on the bottom of my rucksack for when I stop as my roll mat to sleep on. And I've slept on that before, and it's really comfortable. Way more comfortable than a normal roll mat, so perfect. I know it looks small, but this mat actually measures about a meter long um, by sort of half a meter wide, so it's it's plenty big enough. I've also got a small ground sheet, a very thin ground sheet, which goes down on the ground incidentally, so I'm not um, you know sleeping directly on the ground. I've got a small, a thin ground sheet, then these mats, and then me and my sleeping bag on top of that. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, really looking forward to this weekend. Can't wait to get out on the river. My mum and dad have um, very kindly offered to take me and to collect me, um, which is brilliant. So I haven't got to worry about uh, getting there and getting back or paddling back, which is what I was really, really worried about having to do. Um, so that's great, thanks mum and dad. Um, I will be putting the video out uh, next week at some point, once I've edited 
it takes me a bit of time to then upload because uh, my internet speed is, is really slow so sorry about that bear with me it will be out and uh, I look forward to seeing you on that one all the best cheers yeah.